ITC Tech Share. I'm Tom Grissom. Today I would like to go over some basic troubleshooting tips for uh, troubleshooting our technology enhanced classrooms and make sure that we understand the proper switch settings and things to display whatever device that we would like up to the front of the room. So to begin with, uh, if you're experiencing trouble, you can always contact your instructional support specialist or call the uh, EIU help desk at 581-4357 to report any problems. But there's three things that we always ask uh, users to do before they call the help desk, and that's to double check, is the device turned on, uh, is it plugged in, and then did you reboot? Those are kind of the three basic things that you'd be surprised uh, how many times just those simple three uh, items to check will solve the problem. So to begin with, by far, the biggest call for help that we get in the ITC is a professor will walk into a room and they'll see the blue screen projected to the front of the room. All right, I can simulate that uh, because there's a variety of uh, switch settings that will, ca will cause this condition. So probably the most common one, well, let me just jump down here. I'm gonna follow my notes along. This is a one-note notebook, so this will be provided at the uh, ITC uh, website at eiu.edu slash ITC. But let's look at, at a couple of very common uh, scenarios out there. So as I said, a professor will walk into the room, we see the blue screen projected. This is typically caused by two different situations. Um, the first is the Extron video switch, all right? I've got a little picture over here to the side. This is what we call our Extron video switch. We need to make sure that we're on the proper video source uh, for whatever device is that we're wanting to display. And then the other common issue is the video source on the NEC remote, all right? And I've got an example here that we want to make sure that we're on the proper video source for whatever device that we're displaying. So I've put together a couple of matrix, uh, different combinations of things, and I'll show that here in just a second. But uh, let me just simulate the Extron video switch problem. Right now, I have my laptop connected using a VGA cable here. Um, I have it on video switch number two because that's the proper video switch to display this VGA laptop connection. Um, however, one very common situation is the last instructor before me, maybe they were showing the document camera. So I'm going to reach down here, select video source number three. You'll see the, the screen goes blank and it's trying to find a signal, but since I don't have a document camera connected to this particular uh, technology enhanced classroom, it searches for the video signal. If it can't find it, it will display this blue screen. All right, so the first thing that I ask myself, it's like, what video switch is the Extron video switch? I look down, oh, it's on number three. I'm trying to display my laptop. I need to change it back over to switch number two, and it syncs up, and here I'm going. So I've just done some effective troubleshooting there, just checking that one very simple thing on the Extron switch box. Same thing for the video remote. Probably the most common problem we get calls at the ITC is somebody will walk into the room and they'll see this blue screen. They look down, they say, I am on video switch number two on the Extron, which is the proper switch. However, I still see this blue screen, and that's possibly because the instructor before them was showing a DVD or a VHS movie, and they changed the video source on the projector over to video, all right? The projector remote needs to be on computer one on the remote setting, and I'll explain here what I'm doing. So right here is the video button. Here is the computer one. That switches back and forth between those two video sources. And then on the newer style, it's right here, all right? So it's typically those, a combination of those two that will cause the problem with the blue screen. All right, let me just jump back over here and kind of follow my notes along so I don't skip over something. Um, we just mentioned the video source, if they were using a DVD or VCR. We do ask, please, if you're showing a movie, please change it back, change it back to the computer one source and make sure that the Extron switch is set back to switch one. Um, it should be, but that's just a courtesy for the next instructor coming through. Another cause, um, I have the desktop computer unit also uh, inside of this podium. So if I go over to select switch number one on my Extron video switch, that will change over to the tower computer. You'll see over here to the side. Let me scroll down here. Uh, you'll see that I'm on tower computer one. So I'm displaying at the screen. Now I don't have anything 
uh, displayed at the screen, so I want to make sure that I'm on source number one, and I'm on computer one on the remote, and I'm on switch one on the Extron box. All right. So, it's again, in these notes, so we've tried to provide uh, that information in this little matrix that we put together. Uh, if you want to, I'll just mention this here so I don't forget, to control the volume, depending upon what you want to control the volume to, for the laptop computer, we have a sound amplifier that you can use the knob to turn up and down the volume. Same thing for the uh, VCR, VCR DVD. All right, so let me just jump back here because I think I skipped a couple of things. Another cause for the blue screen, right now you're seeing the tower unit, which is inside this podium. If this tower unit goes to sleep, it will lose the video source and it will show a blue screen. So um, if it's blue, first thing I always do is just tap the space bar a couple of times on the uh, tower unit just to make sure that, it, that it's awake. And of course, if somebody previously turned the tower unit completely off, it wouldn't have a video source. So of course, you would have to um, make sure that it's turned on. So either wake it up or turn it on. Again, you know, is it plugged in, is it turned on? A lot of times that will solve the problem. Uh, connect the laptop screen. Make sure that you're completely plugged in. Let me go back to my laptop. Uh, let's go here and select switch number two. I'm on computer one, so that's the proper combination here. But also, double check your connections. You know, is it plugged in? If I accidentally bump this and this connection comes loose, it just lost the video source. The projector's trying to find it. If it can't find it, it displays that blue screen. All right, so let me plug that one back in. Another very common issue. If it's just, you know, if it's a little bit loose, make sure that's uh, plugged in solid. Uh, let's go down to, uh, if somebody's logged out of the computer or turned it off, um, you can always reboot our desktop computers and they will automatically log in. Uh, just a quick mention on the smart board. Uh, there is a light in the lower uh, right hand corner of the smart board and if, as long as things are working it will be a solid green color and I believe I've got a couple of pictures here. So in the lower right hand corner should be green light if everything's working properly. If something's wrong it will either be flashing green, yellow, or have a red light on it. And for that particular problem if it's a red light please call the help desk because you'll probably need assistance uh, to get the smart board working again. All right, and then always, if you uh, can't resolve the problem, please feel free to call 581-4357 uh, or contact your instructional support specialist. We want to make sure that this equipment is in proper operating condition. We don't lose any instructional time, uh, and we need to know uh, if we need to address any issues. So I've very quickly put together a little technology matrix, and again, this will be available off the uh, ITC website. Uh, of course, the easy things, you know, turning projector on and off, uh, I like to encourage instructors, whenever they finish using the projector, make sure you turn it off. Bulbs are very expensive, so we want to extend the bulb life. Um, but get in the habit of looking at this Extron switch box and make sure that you're on switch number one uh, to, turn, to turn off. That way, whenever the next instructor comes in, they'll be ready to use the, uh, use the tower computer. You're not on the video switch or you're not on the document camera switch. Uh, I've gone over some of the things here with the, the tower unit and the sound laptops we've talked about, document cameras. Document cameras typically switch three or switch four in our classrooms. I provided a scenario if you want to use an MP3 player you can actually use the laptop connection to plug the sound jack into your MP3 player and redirect that through switch number two. Video source doesn't matter because all we're interested is audio in that case. The DVD VCR is a combination of switch one and the video Again, please remember to change that back to computer one for the next person using the room. And then we do have a, a ITC Miracast checkout kit available, and I've got a little blog post available out here. I've talked about this in a previous video, but that information is provided for you uh, out there as well. And then this is our typical setup here. So we've got our sound amplifier, volume control knob to turn up or turn down. Depending upon what you want to display, these are the most important switches on the Extron switch box. And then here is our DVD and VCR player. We also, over the past previous 10 episodes of ITC TechShare, we've got a variety of a little bit more detail. Uh, we talked about document cameras and learning flows, uh, using the projector remote, 
uh, connecting a MacBook or an iPad, connecting a Windows 8.1 tablet, and we also explained that Miracast wireless setup. Um, we talked about getting started with the smart board, and then of course this is episode 53. I'll post a link here as soon as this uh, YouTube video is published. In summary, to make this as concise as I can get here, this is just a quick look chart here of the different settings. And just always, before you call help, you know, you'll be surprised how often just simply looking down and making sure you're on the correct video switch on the Xtron switch box and making sure you're on the proper video source on the remote. Um, probably 90% of the time uh, you'll be able to fix the problems yourself. Uh, for anything beyond that, uh, again, we always encourage you Call the, uh, the EIU Help Desk at uh, 581-4357 to report any problems or see your instructional support specialist. So those are some basic troubleshooting tips. Until next time, this is Tom Grissom. Keep on learning.